In question number 10, you're asked to find the remainder uh, when, well, sorry, asked to find A, knowing the remainder when you plug in negative 2 is 11. So what I've got to do now is to, in turn, substitute the negative 2 in. And work it through. So I've got uh, negative 9, take 2A is equal to 11. And A, therefore, will equal negative 10. So in B, I'm going to plug in 1. So therefore, 4 minus 1 plus 5 minus B is equal to 0. And therefore, B will equal 8. In a similar style, a little bit messier for part C, I've substituted in an eighth there, we're knowing the remainder there is six. So gathering that all up, I've got 10 and three quarters plus a quarter C is equal to six. Six minus 10 and three quarters, which becomes 19 over four, negative 19 over four. And lastly, C is equal to negative 19. Now that last one's definitely a category. Uh, feel free to use your calculator to check these as you go in the standard mode. But when it comes to a test, you may have to do a question like that using purely pen and paper techniques.